All right, so all of these, we want to know which one is the most volatile. So this is number one, spring 06, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So most volatile means high vapor pressure. High vapor pressure means low force. So we're picking between three possible forces, H bonding, dipoles, and London. Everything has London. That's our default. So we want to see which ones don't have London. Uh, the first one would have what? The first one, which is a chlorine sticking on the end of carbons and hydrogens. This would be a just normal dipole. Okay. The next one has what? Yeah, H bonding, same as the last one. How about these two? These two are both London. Yeah, this one's bigger, so it'd be stronger than this one. So, London is the weakest. Um, so, this one is the weakest London of the two Londons. So if I actually had to rank these in order of strongest to weakest force, the strongest would be the H bonding with two OHs, because it can have double the H bonding, sort of. The second one would have, has one OH, so it has less potential for H bonding. The third strongest would be the dipole. The fourth most strongest force would be the bigger molecule that has London only. And number five is the one we picked already. Uh, so that number five, that's the pentane, it'll have the least London, and so it'll have the lowest force and the highest vapor pressure. So the one with the lowest vapor pressure, or the one that is least volatile, will be number one, and it'll be in this order. So uh, number one is the least volatile, going up to the most volatile, number five. Yeah? London has to do with size, right? That's right. Yeah, London gets... Uh, incre increases in strength as size increases. Or you could just think molar mass if you want. Um, for more volatile means it's stronger force? More volatile means lower, uh, more volatile means more vapor pressure and it means weaker force. Um, yeah. Less volatile means less vapor pressure and higher force. 